Welcome to Artist Alley, where I like to show you all the really interesting Sailor Moon crafts and homemade items that I was able to collect from all sorts of different crafters and small businesses all around the internet. I started Artist Alley right around the time that I had started this YouTube channel, and it's an ongoing series that I have used to not only promote small businesses and support them, but also show off some of the really creative concepts that people come up with, with inspiration from Sailor Moon. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I don't have too many items to show you today. It's just a few, but these are really pretty items that I have found over the course of the last few months. So let's go ahead and get started with a couple of really cool items that are extremely unique. These are from Glow City Candles. Something about me that I don't really share a lot of here on this Sailor Snubs channel. Uh, I do collect candles. I am kind of addicted to Bath & Body Works. I love their candles so much, especially in the fall. I I love those smells, those scents so, so much. So I have a, t I have a ton of candles. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit much. So when I saw this company, I'm pretty sure I saw a promoted Instagram post. So Glow City Candles, your promotions are working for sure. I bought both of these and I actually bought a pumpkin one too because it was so cute, I couldn't stop myself. These are a pair of candles that are handmade and are absolutely adorable. So much so that I don't wanna burn them, but I do so that I can show you what they look like. But here we have a couple of candles. Both of them were hand dipped and handmade. This one features, of course, Artemis. It's kind of a grayish color. It's not quite white, but that's going to happen when you have dipped candles, especially if they have a few different layers in there. There is a black layer underneath that for the whiskers. So obviously he's not gonna be fully white, but this is a very, very cute Artemis candle. And then we have, I think this one is my favorite of the two. We have a Luna candle. So the Luna candle also has mostly black layers and you can tell that this was hand dipped several, several times so that they were able to get all those different colors underneath there for the whiskers and for the eyes. I also noticed that there's a metallic paint for the ears, the eyes and the moon as well as the nose. So you can tell that these were hand painted as well as hand dipped. And I think that is so creative and they came out really, really wonderfully. They're so adorable. So I do wanna light these just to see if we can see that glow. But since they are fairly new, you might not see any glow. But once you do start to burn these and the wick starts to go down, you will notice a glow on the eyes, which I think is so pretty. And I can't wait to get these to the point where I can see the eyes glow. So I'm going to go ahead and try it and see how it looks. Yeah, I think the wick is still a little bit too high for them to glow, but here you can see the wick is burning and they look very, very adorable. Such cute candles. Okay, I do not want to burn candles in my collection room while I'm going through a whole bunch of merch, especially papers. So according to Glow City Candles, these are handcrafted candles designed to tunnel down the center, making space for a tea light, LED or votive style candle. So once you do burn down the wick, you can replace them with a tea light. This preserves the art as an everlasting candle holder. So cool. The explanation card on here does give directions in terms of how to preserve the art for these Glow City candles. So I will be keeping the card just in case, but here is the logo so that you can find them online. All right, next I have just a few items from Marta Fontanals, who I have ordered from before. Marta makes a whole series of really beautiful jewelry, but they also do a whole bunch of really cool crafts and accessories. In their newest release everything sold out really fast so Marta I am pleading with you please re-release these items because I didn't get a chance to purchase a lot of them and I really wanted to I'm sure I'm not the only one when I say that as well so please do re-release these items so here we have a really cute little pouch that you can use for your accessories this has an adorable little Marta branded keychain right here. And on the back of it, we have a Sakura cherry blossom flower. I also got a bigger pouch. Both of these are kind of like a corduroy texture. This one features a moon stick on the front of it. Again, very beautiful. We have Marta's signature wing. And on the back, we also have that signature wing. That is embroidery art too. There is no additional 
interior pocket in here. It's just one big pocket. This would be really good for makeup. I also purchased this adorable little notepad. I use these all the time in my tech YouTuber studio. So I'm definitely gonna be using this quite a bit for all my note taking whenever I'm doing my product reviews, something I do all the time. Now, unfortunately, the item that sold out that I really wanted was a Sailor Saturn keychain but I was able to get a Black Lady slash Chibiusa keychain. Now on the top of this, we have Katakana, and this says Uraku, I think it says Radi, Radi, Uraku Radi, which would be Black Lady in Japanese. We also have a little evil Luna P. This is a sparkly acrylic, love it. She's so cute. And on the back of this keychain, we have this sparkly acrylic of an image from the manga of Black Lady. On the front of it, we have Chibiusa. And again, that's that sparkly acrylic. This is a really cute keychain, and I wanted to grab the one of Sailor Saturn. So hopefully these will get restocked because I, I really want to grab that one for me and my best friend, who are both big Saturn fans. Neon City has made a whole series of really beautiful vinyls that feature Sailor Moon art, and a lot of the music is inspired by anime. So I did purchase this vinyl record. I have not listened to it yet, so I don't know if it's good or not, but I mainly purchased it because I wanted the artwork on the vinyl. I think vinyls that have artwork on them are so absolutely gorgeous, and they look really cool when you're playing them. So this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Let's go ahead and look at the vinyl. So here's the sleeve. There's a side A and a side B. Side A has seven songs. Side B has number eight through 15, so another, another eight songs. Of course, you can tell that this is based on Sailor Moon. And I'll show you the vinyl. It's very pretty. So here is the vinyl record that we have. Side A and side B both match. So I don't have to flip it around, but each side is purple. It's really pretty purple. And then we have that gorgeous imagery of Sailor Moon in the center. There she is. So pretty. I'll definitely be playing this vinyl downstairs in my living room, in my music room. And I will certainly let you know how it is over on my Instagram. Okay, so the newest item in my collection is from a company called Gem Tech. Gem Tech makes deck boxes. If you play Magic the Gathering or any of the other card games, then you use a deck box to sort each of your decks. I have a commander deck for Magic the Gathering that I play every Thursday night with a group of friends, and I've been wanting a nice high quality box for a while, a deck box. So this is my new deck box. I'm very excited about it. I pre-ordered this quite a few months ago, and it finally came in this month, just a few days ago, really, uh, at time of recording. So I'm really excited to open this and see what it looks like. Obviously on the front, you can tell that this is inspired by Sailor Moon. It's not necessarily a Sailor Moon compact on the front, but it does look like one. So this is a TCG deck box, 150 plus. So it's good for 150 plus cards. Uh, you can protect and hold 150 double sleeved trading cards, which is generally what you will find with a deck. My commander deck, I think is a hundred cards, I want to say. I'm fairly new to Magic the Gathering, so I don't remember exactly how many it is. So I'll probably have space in here for like other things like uh, like tokens and maybe I can throw in some dice. So according to the sticker on these, they are designed in California but ma made in China. The actual box for this deck box. On the back of it, we have this image of Sailor Moon. That's not a licensed image. That is some third-party art. Here's the interior of this box, by the way. I would definitely use this box just to throw in all my additional collector Magic the Gathering cards, because I don't really have a place for those. So the deck box is made out of this faux leather. On the front of it, we have a pair of wings, and we have this beautiful gold this is, it looks like a metal or a plastic heart. Feels like metal. We have some gemstones in the middle of this little brooch. This is not exactly a Sailor Moon brooch, but it's pretty close, so it looks really cute. I'm excited to open this though. How do I open it? Ah, it's magnetic. That's nice. So it's a magnetic box, and then we have this beautiful art of Sailor Moon. So there's the Sailor Moon art. It is 
I would say three sided. Yeah, it's got about three sides to it. So that's really nice. Three folds in there. That's a beautiful piece of art. Definitely not licensed, but looks really, really pretty. I also like, this is a very nice high quality box. Unlike the kind of lower quality boxes that I generally have for Magic the Gathering, this is a really nice, big, high quality box. I feel like it'll keep all of my cards safe. I do like that these are lined with a nice velvet material, so they're not gonna scratch your cards or your card sleeves if you do use card sleeves, which I do recommend you do. This is cute too. There's a little divider included in the box and it says gem accessories down at the bottom. We have this crescent moon and a silhouette Luna. I do really like that there are three different compartments in this deck box for your cards. The front one folds down. It is magnetic, but it can fold down and then this opens up. I'm not sure how you're supposed to use a deck box like this big, but that would be great for setting out your tokens or the cards that you're drawing from when you're playing your game. And then you can stick all your tokens in the back. Oh, maybe you're supposed to put your dice there and then your tokens back here and your whole deck back here. I don't know. What I do know is that this will fit my commander deck perfectly. I'm so excited to use it. Okay, and last but not least for today, I have a new model. Now this model was purchased from a seller over on Instagram. They did have a website where you can purchase all sorts of different scale models. This one is a 1 4th Super Sailor Moon bust. I was very curious about ordering this because I've never ordered from this company before. It did take a very, very long time to ship the pre-painted version. Uh, this is from Emerald Angel Studio and Wanzi Studio. So I had ordered it from those two collaborative companies. Usually the only models that I have ordered have been from like E2046. I really like their models and I think they're very easy to put together. So this is gonna be interesting since this is the first time I've ordered from this specific company. I will say this box is extremely lightweight. So I feel like the model itself is not going to be very large and I don't think it's gonna take up a lot of space. But I'll go ahead and open this and we can check it out together. Oh, it looks like I don't even need to put it together. That's nice. No assembly required. Love it when I don't have to assemble things. So here is the bust in the box. Let's go ahead and take her out. This is resin, so I'm going to be very careful with it. I don't want to break off any of the tendrils for her hair. I also don't want to break off her head. All right. Yeah, no assembly required. It is very pretty. I really, really like the high quality printing done on her face for her eyes. I also very much appreciate how much detail went into the gradient. And I also very much appreciate that the stand itself looks kind of marbleized. It's very pretty. The pearlescent features for her accessories is such a nice little addition and her hair is very flowy it looks very very beautiful like there's a lot of volume to it there's a lot of movement and I appreciate that with my figures now this one is so small I wasn't sure like how big exactly she would be they did have measurements on the page when I ordered her but it's always hard to really visualize how big a model is actually going to be uh, so this one is relatively small and I think she was rather expensive, but in terms of quality, she's very, very beautiful. This is very pretty. That is really, really pretty. I was definitely not sure what to expect, especially given how long it took for this to ship. So I was a little like, uh, is this a scam? I don't know anything about this company, but it's not a scam apparently. So I did get the item in. I did purchase it myself and it did come in and it was complete and it's not broken in any ways and it looks very beautiful. So this is going to look really, really nice on my collection table behind me. I'm kind of glad it doesn't take up a lot of room though, because sometimes those models will take up a ton of room and then you just like run out of space super, super fast. Like the models that I have from Gaka Box are gigantic. <laughs> okay, so that is everything that I have for you today from this artist alley. If you are interested in collecting any of these items, then definitely shoot me a message down below in the comments. I do have all of these linked down below and I'll put their names on the screen if I remember to do so. However, most of these I have found on Instagram. That's usually where I find small businesses is either I see a promoted story or a post that I really like of something that I'm intrigued by, or I'm actually following the creator already and I'm able to order 
order from their website directly. I do very much appreciate uh, Artist Alley type of videos because it gets me a chance to support these different creators and different crafters. In fact, I'm a small business too, and I am a creator myself. I'm just creating something digitally as opposed to physically. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. I have a whole bunch of videos planned out for my channel. Not only this one, but I have a bunch of different hauls of some licensed merchandise, and I also have several reviews coming up that I have not unboxed. I'm looking at boxes over here and thinking about which one I want to record next. So keep an eye out. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to get my channel to 12,000. I'm super close, so we're almost there, and I would love for that to happen super soon. So thank you so much for subscribing and for commenting down below and for checking out my Sailor Snubs channel. I'll see you next time. Jenny.